Hello friends, welcome to our new video. Let's try to solve the today's problem. So the today's problem is repeating strings. Okay, before that, if you are watching our videos for the first time, or if you did not subscribe to our channel yet, then please go and subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon as well so that you can get the notifications of our new videos. Okay, so let's see the problem statement. Okay, uh, here uh, we have given a problem statement. The problem statement is you are given a string S consisting of lowercase English characters. The length of the S is between one to three. Okay. Uh, inclusive print. Uh, the string of length six, that is repetition of uh, S. Okay. So it can be shown that there are, uh, there uniquely exists such a string under the constraints of this problem. Okay. So uh, we have given a string, which is a lowercase and uh, it, it's from length one to three okay uh, so in this problem what we have to do we have given uh, in the input we have given a string which is between the length one to three okay and we have to print the uh, string of length six which is a repetition of that string yes which we have given okay so uh, let's suppose we have given a string uh, let's suppose uh, length one we have given one string which has a length only one suppose a okay so we have to print uh, the string of length six using this uh, string so in this case what we have to do we have to uh, print the copy of this string six times okay we have to print this string six times so that uh, we can get the string of length six okay that is a a we have to print the six copies of this string so a a a a a and a okay these are the six copies of uh, this string so this should be the output okay uh, for the length one string okay and let's suppose we have given a uh, length two string uh, that is let's suppose a b these are the string okay so what we can do we have to print the three copies of these strings okay. so we have to print three copies so that we can get the uh, string of length six uh, that is this is first copy a b then again this is a b this is second copy and like again this is a b this is third copy so this will be the output okay and let's suppose we have given a uh, three length three string one okay let's say a b and c okay so uh, what we can do in this case we have to print the uh, two copies of this string so that we'll get two copies Okay, so that we'll get the uh, string of length six. That is a. Let's suppose this is first copy a b c, and this is second copy a b c. Okay, so these are the uh, string of length six. Okay, so this is the problem statement which we have given. Okay, so uh, okay. let's see here you can see that we have given some sample input okay here we have given a, a length three string okay so in this case we have to print the two copies of this string so that we can get the string of length six okay and here you can see that we have given a, a length two string which is zz so in this case we have to print the three copies of this string okay so that uh, we'll get the uh, string of length six okay so uh, let's try to understand how we can solve this problem. Okay, so uh, to solve this problem, what we can do? Mm, simply, uh, we can write here condition that is if the length of the string is one, then we have to print the string uh, six times. Okay, so um, here we'll check that. Let's suppose this is a stair dot length. Okay, if the length of the string is one then what we have to do we have to print this uh, string str 
six times. Uh, like how we can we we can do the concatenation like str plus str plus str okay like this up to uh six times okay okay well we can do like this and here again we'll write another condition if length of the string is equals to equals to two then we have to print uh, the three copies of this string. Okay. Like uh, we can do the concatenation of str plus str plus str three times so that we'll get the required output. Uh, again, we will write one more condition that is if length of the string equals to equals to three. Okay, then what we can do, we'll print this string two times. That is str plus str. Okay, so we can uh, solve or we can apply this logic to solve this problem. Okay. Okay, and uh, you can solve this by using another approach as well like uh, what you can do you can use the inbuilt method of inbuilt method of string which is repeat to repeat the string uh, okay so how we can uh, use this method okay so uh, let's suppose we have given uh, one string okay so first what we can do we have to uh, minus the length of the string from six okay so let's say uh, 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 let's say integer answer equals to inside this what we can do we'll str dot uh, what we can do simply we have to, uh, minus the length of the string from uh, six so what we can do we'll divide six by the length of the string that is let's say str dot length okay and here at the end we can use the uh, method of this repeat and inside this we can pass the this answer that how many times we have to repeat this string after the length of the string okay which we have uh, subtracted from the six okay let's say uh, length of the string is 3 so uh, 6 divided by 3 so uh, the its uh, output is 2 okay so we have to repeat this string two times okay so we get the our output okay so this this method you can use to solve this problem okay okay and what we can do mm, we can solve this by using Okay, simply we can solve it using by using the for loop as well. Okay, uh, let's say uh, first what we can do, uh, we have to find this. Okay, uh, let's say answer equals to six divided by s dot length. Okay. And uh, we'll use the for loop, okay? And this for loop will start from zero, okay? And we'll run till answer that is uh, less than answer, okay? And we'll increment that is i plus plus, okay? And inside this simply we'll print the string, okay? So that we'll get the output okay so uh let's you can apply the any of this uh logic to solve this problem okay so let's try to write the code for this problem okay so first i will remove this okay so i will write the scanner sc equals to new scanner then system dot in then what we can do we have given one string str equals to sc dot next 
Okay. Now, what we can do? Uh, else, what we can do? Let's try all the approaches here only. So, we'll try the first approach. Okay. So, inside this, what we can do? I will write one condition that is if str dot length equals to equals to one. Okay. Then, what we can do? See that simply we are going to print str plus str plus str plus str plus str plus str okay this is one two three four five six okay so the length of the string is one then we have to print the six copies of this string okay else if if the length of the string is equals to equals to two then what we can do we have to print the three copies of this string okay okay now again we'll write else if and inside this we'll write str dot length equals to equals to three then what we can do we have to print the two copies of this string okay so uh, this will be the first approach let's see whether it works or not so i'll copy this input okay let's give the input click on run okay let's see whether it works or not okay mm, semicolon is missing semicolon okay what is the error uh, string cannot be converted to integer oh, oh oh sorry this is not integer this is string okay uh, you can see uh, the string let's see for this Just click on run. Let's see. Required string will be the uh, length six. Uh, six. You can see it's working. Okay. Let's submit. Let's see. Okay, you can see all the test cases has been passed. Okay, so this is the one way to solve this problem. Okay, so let's see another approach. Okay, which is uh, by using uh, repeat method of the string. Okay, so here what we can do simply I can write directly system dot out dot print. Okay, and inside this. I can write str dot repeat str dot repeat and inside this what I can do I will write six divided by str dot length. Okay, uh, it should work. Let's see. ABC. Click on run. Okay, you can see it's working. Let's submit it. Okay, let's, okay. You can see all the test cases has been passed uh, using this approach as well. Okay, this is the second approach. Okay, now let's see for the third approach which is uh, here what we can do let's say integer answer equals to six divided by str dot length okay and uh, here i can write one for loop i is less than answer i plus plus okay and inside this simply i can print the string 
print string. Okay, let's see whether it works or not. Click on run. Okay, you can see this also works. Let's submit it. Okay, you can see that all the test cases has been passed. Okay, this is the third way to solve this problem. Okay, so uh, this is the code for this problem. Okay, so that's it in this video. Other up to video, person, the video, like your channel, subscribe. Okay, so next video.